My dear carbon-based mammals, at least I think you're mammals, what you just saw over there is an app called Beacon Launcher. And Beacon Launcher wants to be a solid alternative to Dajisho or Dajishu. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering the pronunciation. And stick around because I have a giveaway for you guys where the developer was so kind to give me one key that you can redeem on the Play Store, which I'm gonna post at the end of this video. First come, first served, I think it's the fairest way. I'm basically throwing some meat in a piranha pond right now, and whoever the lucky piranha is, please let us know in the comments. Anyway, back to the video. The problem that I've had with Android game frontends for many years is that none of them actually allowed me to consolify the um, device. Whether this is a phone or a tablet or an Android box, it didn't matter. You just felt that you were stitching together something on top of Android and it wasn't even remotely close to what a PlayStation would give you or an Xbox or a PSP. There, user interfaces were always leagues above this, above whatever thing we managed to scotch tape together as an Android retro device and we would try to convince ourselves that that's a handheld console. Well, it wasn't. Deep down inside we felt that it didn't give the same vibe, if this makes any sense, because it wasn't consoleized. It just didn't ooze that console feeling and user experience. Basically, Beacon Launcher tries to solve this by replicating what the console is and wrapping your entire retro game library, just as Dajisho and Dig and other launchers tend to do. But the difference is that it tries to do this in an interface that's very, very close to what you would get on the console. Beacon Launcher's interface is best summed up as... Well, imagine if the PlayStation and PSP interfaces made sweet, sweet love with your retro game library and decided to raise that child on Android. That's, <laughs> that's how you should picture it. In fact, this is the perfect description. Beacon Launcher therefore gives you the interface that takes you back probably to your PlayStation days. And I'm not gonna say that it's highly customizable because it's way less customizable than I would personally want it. But at the same time, it has all the options that you need to not feel like you're running a bare bones interface over your sweet, sweet collection of uh, ROMs. You have basically three viewing styles gallery, which is very akin to what you find on PlayStation. Then you have the list interface, which I personally use on my phone, because in this way we actually get to see a lot of the game titles. Plus, we have a very nice area here to enjoy all of the details of the game cover art. I always thought that it was a shame that cover art was represented in very, very small thumbnails. Nowadays, we have very detailed scans of these retro cover arts. And if we give them more screen real estate, we can see way more details than we would ever have hoped. If you're like me and if you just like to stare at cover art like you're a dragon staring at your treasure, then this is the best solution outside of actually owning the damn physical copies of the games. And there's another grid view, which... To be honest, I'm not that impressed with, but what can you do? It's a grid of covers. Uh, you can't really be creative with this, and I'm not faulting the developer. Beacon Launcher is crazy lightweight. Immensely lightweight. I can't even put this in words. I have to show you. I have nothing in the background right now, right? I'm just gonna click it. Bam. Did you see how freaking instant it is? The fact that it's so smooth adds to the experience so much that I can't even say that I miss a dedicated Android handheld. I don't, because no matter if I use this or this, I now feel that any of my devices actually have two modes. One would be normal operational mode, which is what your handheld, phone or tablet or whatever freaking device that has Android you decide to use for your retro games. And the other one would be gaming mode. Gaming mode is essentially beacon launcher. It's just there, booted up in a fraction of a second. I don't have the equipment to test this, but I'm pretty sure it took like a tenth of a second or maybe a quarter of a second to boot up. Plus, it has some very cute backgrounds. You get to have bubbles, rain, uh, floating squares, 
fireflies and many other things in the background that actually respect the color palette that you use in the launcher plus it has some few other ways in which you can customize it so i wouldn't say that it has a lot of options in fact it's pretty barren when it comes to customizability but it has just enough just enough for us not to feel constrained so in a way it feels more streamlined i would say the scraping of the artwork could use some work though, because I've had, at least in my Neo Geo collection, I've had quite a few duplicate covers. In case I had a game that had some sequels, I would get the same cover for all two or three sequels of that game. But after editing the name of the ROM and trying some other variations, the scraper finally managed to get the proper covers most of the time not all of the time but most of the time but hey the G show god i'm butchering the pronunciation isn't perfect either so i can't really fault this launcher too much another thing that a lot of you guys might be interested in is the fact that this front-end launcher is not open source i'm a big open source advocate but this time i really don't care it's one guy it's not a corporation, it's not a company, it's literally one guy, and this guy has the nerve to not make it open source because he has hedonistic, selfish desires like paying rent, paying bills, and paying for food. He's a monster. <laughs> no, uh, I'm joking. But he did some awesome, solid work with this launcher, and for three freaking bucks, it's amazing this launcher alone has drastically improved the way that i feel and pleasure that i get from just looking at the covers in the creepiest way possible where i don't even blink for 20 minutes this launcher made me just outright uninstall the shishu i always hated how noisy and cluttered the user interface of the shishu felt for me for the guys in the comments i am perfectly aware i'm butchering the, the name of Daji show, I think. So, this is pretty much it. I'll put the license key here. Whoever is first to it, congrats. Please leave a comment. I'm very curious who gets it. It's courtesy of the developer. He's a pretty cool guy, and I think we should all support him. I am shocked that this launcher is not as talked about as it should be. I think this totally... This one guy. This one dude. Totally changed the landscape of how people interact with their retro libraries. And I'm not even exaggerating with this. The amount of dopamine and pleasure that you get is enhanced if your things, if your retro ROMs are organized in a very beautiful and very majestic way. It just clears the mind and it makes you feel more at peace and you're just like blossoming on the inside. Yeah, you're blossoming. I'm not ashamed of using this word. I love blossoming. So, this is pretty much it. Let me know what you think of Beacon Launcher. Do you like it? Do you hate it? You can put this launcher on any Android handheld that you might have. Your Retroid Pocket 4 Pro. It can be the Ion Odin 2. I think this launcher fits very well in all of those places. Hell, even if you create hybrid devices like this bad boy right here, this piece of software, honestly, it's a must. And I have a message for the developer of this app. In case you're watching, my dude, I only have one request from you. Please make it available on Android TV as well, because it would fit so well on so many Android TV boxes. Most boxes are able to play up to PS1. It's a totally untapped market not to have it there. So for all of you nice people that watched so far, make sure to leave some love for the developer down in the comments. I'm sure that he'll see any words of encouragement and feature requests that you guys might have in mind. So this is all from me. See you in the next clip. As always, I love you guys. <laughs> Bye.